guys, welcome back to the Teenagers with Experience YouTube channel. I'm Mel and today I'm going to be sharing my self-care routine when my mental health is going downhill and I know many of you can relate to this so I thought I'd share my routine and I'd love to know what you guys do when you feel like this. So when I wake up in the morning, sometimes I feel unmotivated to do anything, to even go for a shower and what I do to like remind myself that it's okay to feel like this is just remind myself that everyone feels like this everyone gets days like this where they just don't want to do anything and that's okay because it's a part of life and you're not supposed to do everything every day you're not supposed to keep busy keep busy keep busy because your body cannot take that and some days you just need the rest from it so i always remind myself it is okay because everyone else has these days too I tend to uh, make myself happy with putting my favourite song on or putting my favourite film on or TV series, whatever you like or even reading your favourite book. My favourite song at the minute is Always Going to Be Luminous by John and Edward which I'll put here and then my favourite film has got to be Alice in Wonderland Always because it always makes me cheer up and my favourite TV series is going to be American Horror Story because it's just filled with everything I love and it keeps me on edge and I'm away from social media and I'm just in the zone where I am me and I get to enjoy the morning. Whilst watching a movie or listening to songs, I like to uh, get my bullet journal which is at the side of my bed always, just in case I wake up in the middle of the night and I have something on my mind that I need to get off. So what I do is leave this either under my pillow or literally by the side of my bed and always have a pen by there and say if I woke up about 3 o'clock in the morning and something scared me in the night, something bothered me in the night and I kicked on over thinking about it, write it down because it feels like you're getting off your chest and you're reassuring yourself that it's going to be okay. Just having literally a notebook would help you but I tend to go for like a bullet journal because it, it gives you pinpointers of what you can do and it gives you advice as well. If after the movie I've got uh, motivation, I like to go for a shower because that's one of my things I like to do every day, have a shower before anything else. But if I haven't got the motivation, I just remind, remind myself that it's not essential to do it every day. If you had a wash yesterday, that's fine. If you don't have a wash today, it's fine because it's, you're not going out anywhere if you're going to stay in bed all day. So there's no point in stressing about it. Just relax, enjoy the day, and enjoy your movie. So what happens if I've had a good day, I've been out, and I've come home, and then suddenly my mental health just drops? Well, I tend to like to go for a walk in my local park or my local forest, and turn all my social medias off, put it on airplane mode, and just listen to music. Music has been a release for me, walking through the forest, but sometimes music doesn't quite do that the same as nature does. When you take your earphones out and you're walking through the forest, you can listen to nature and it's really soothing, it's really relaxing and just enjoy nature. I've never been a nature person until this Covid came and I was restricted from what I could do, who I could see. So I was just going out for local walks when I felt like it. But that really helped me with my confidence as well because I feel like I can go anywhere now. I know it's a, a tiny thing, but for me it was massive just to leave the house by myself, going for walks by myself. But music has really helped me do that. After I started going for walks, I, tend, I bought a bike and I thought, why not go for bike rides? So when I feel angry or I feel tension in me, for my self-care routine, I like to go on my bike because I put my music in and then when I'm riding, it feels like I'm releasing all the tension because I'm just biking, biking, biking and I'm free. It feels like I'm running away from what there was and then when I've calmed down and everything, I come back and then I plan out what I'm going to do to solve the situation. But in that moment in time when you're feeling angry and just uncontrolled, go out and get on your bike because it's such an amazing atmosphere to go through the woods as well. It just feels like 
you're on a roller coaster and you're just releasing all that tension, which isn't really helpful for me. I find it difficult to fall asleep because I'm always fidgeting, moving or overthinking. So what I like to do to help me get to sleep is listen to a podcast called Get Sleepy, which I really recommend. It, I've been listening to it for about a few months now and I found it really made a difference when I'm listening to it because I'm actually falling asleep and it tells you a story which is really soothing and it's got uh, breathing techniques in it that help you fall asleep as well but when I didn't listen to it I felt there was a huge difference like when I didn't listen to it I wouldn't fall asleep straight away but when I did I obviously fell asleep so I had a good night's sleep last night which I'm really happy about and yeah I couldn't recommend them more so uh, get sleepy I'll put them in the description as well they really help me or any podcasts that have like sleepy techniques in it yeah <laughs> so recently I've been having a therapy counselling from uh, a local service and they told me to make a self-care box so this is always by my bed because that's where I normally am in my bedroom or by my desk and in this box they said to put in stuff that calm you down, that made you happy and distract you. So I thought, okay, I'm going to start off with that. It's like a colouring therapy book and it lets you unwind. I find this really helpful when listening to music as well. Um, it's got different types of colouring in it that you can do. I recommend listening to like therapy type music, really soothing music as well. I also have my Marilyn Monroe uh, box in here and in here is all my adventures that I've been on and little things like this because they have memories and with this I just it just reminds me of everything I've done in my life and it's just so nice to revisit the memories again so next I have my favourite uh, films in here which is a uh, split which is really good and then for the future as well but also the joker cannot recommend the joker more but then i've got these little postcards that remind me that it's okay that i need space to get lost in nature can't nothing can hold me down and then my favorite place on this earth london it just reminds me of all the good times I've had as well. And then these always make me laugh because the memories behind these, I was in a concert in like 2010 when I got these and I was just wearing them and I was like, I can only see half of you. <laughs> so they're, they're good memories. Um, then what my friend from Sweden got me, she's so, I've only seen her, I haven't seen her in like three years. So that does get me down, but when I look at this, she got me this. I don't know if you can see it. Lost Girl in Wonderland. And she personally made that for me, and it just reminds me how lucky I am to have a friendship, a true friendship like that. So thank you, Trace, for that. But then, obviously, my favourite drink. I always have a spare, always have a spare. So that's what's in my self care box. I'll probably like do this up. I do recommend having a self-care box when you are feeling low, when your mental health has gone downhill, just put, turn to your self-care box. Make sure you have this on hand because it's so easy to access and it has all your favourite stuff in it just to remind you that things are going to be okay. So I hope you guys like my self-care routine, what I like to do when I feel stressed, angry, etc. I hope you guys can uh, relate to this in some way and I do recommend getting a self-care box. So thank you for watching, make sure you like, subscribe and make sure you share and I'll see you next time. Bye!